and gentlemen, the Showboat Hotel and Country Club, in association with Murad Muhammad Incorporated, is proud to present the main event of the evening, featuring 10 rounds of boxing in the light heavyweight division. Introducing, in the red corner, weighing 173 and one quarter pounds, fighting out of Kitwe, Zambia. He has a professional record of 24 wins and one defeat. He is ranked number one in the world by the World Boxing Council. Here is Lottie Mwale. And in the blue corner, weighing in at 175 pounds, fighting out of Brooklyn, New York. He has a professional record of 40 wins, six defeats, and one draw. He is the former light heavyweight champion of the world, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. Let's take a look at the differences between the two. Only a year in age. The, high, the weight obviously almost the same. As far as height is concerned, uh, Eddie is two inches taller, enjoys a one-inch uh, reach advantage, and there you see uh, their cumulative records. Not much to choose from there. The big difference in this fight is the right hand of Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. That is really the variable at work here. It's so powerful it could end this fight at any time, and that's what Mwale has to be worried about. I want you to protect yourself at all times. The uh, referee is Richard Green. He's giving the final instructions. Ironically, Richard Green was the third man in the ring when Eddie Mustafa Muhammad lost his championship to Michael Spinks. In that fight, Eddie was dominant over the first five. Uh, Spinks inflicted a, a cut over his right eye in the sixth, worked on it for the remainder of the fight, decked him in the 13th, and won a unanimous decision. And since that night, Eddie Mustafa Mohammed in the gold trunks has been on the comeback. His latest victory over Pablo Ramos last August. Meanwhile, Lottie Mawali has not fought in 1982, had only two fights in 1981, both of them knockouts, and that followed his only defeat to Matthew Saad Mohammed in 1980. So there the stage is set. Round one, scheduled for ten. And Mustafa Muhammad is often a very slow starter and, in fact, has been lethargic throughout many of his fights for rounds and rounds until he finally unleashes uh, those potent punches here. That was a good left hook by uh, Muhammad. They'll use the 10-point must system here in Nevada. Richard Green, the referee, will not be involved in the scoring. And, yes, there is a three-knockdown rule. in this fight, Mowali is already a stationary target for Eddie. He's not giving him much lateral movement. If he continues to do that, it's going to be either a quick night for Eddie Mustafa Muhammad or a tough one for Mowali. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, uh, thinking about his uh, career beyond fighting, has been uh, working as an actor. Matter of fact, he was in The Raging Bull. He was one of Robert De Niro's opponents, uh, Robert De Niro playing Jake LaMotta. At any rate, this is a reality. This is not the film screen. We're in round one. And Mawali looks like he's taken a, a long look at Eddie. We're halfway through the round. He certainly hasn't gotten on track yet. He tried one jab, and that's about all we've seen from him. So, obviously, a very tentative feeling out round for him. Eddie with a good right hand to the body in that last exchange. It's rare to see uh, Eddie be the aggressor early in a fight, even though he's not exactly uh, a whirlwind. Of course, uh, Eddie says they say that I'm a slow starter and I'm lethargic, but hey, I've got 33 knockouts to my credit. <laughs> Once he gets going, he does the job, that's for sure. Less than a minute to go in the round. Gregory is 29 years old, while Mowali is 28. The former Eddie Gregory, now Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, is certainly in his prime. His best days aren't over with, and that's why I think... It, he has this renewed uh, vigor about training. He knows that uh, he could be the champion again if he just would work hard, and that's what he's done. And so far, he has got his jab on track. He's working it very well in this first round. And that's important because it will set up the big right a little later on. Final seconds of the uh, first round. A good left hook by Eddie to the head of Lottie Mawali in the white trunks. Mowali is the uh, the mystery man, despite the fact that he is uh, the number one contender in the WBC. This is only his second fight in the United States. 
And so far in this first round, we've seen very, very little that would indicate uh, what Moali is going to show us in this uh, fight. It's a full day of classic boxing with Muhammad Ali every week. Eastern Sunday. Let's go to the corner of uh, Mustafa. Manny uh, Shaka is the trainer. Not too much going on there because Eddie seems to have uh, things in control. The Shaka mentioned the, the jab, but there was probably the best punch of the round. Uh, a smart left hook there by Eddie that uh, cracked uh, Mawali on the right side of the face. So a quiet opening round, and we're sure, we're sure that things will start to percolate. We're into round two now, scheduled for 10. Mawali in the white, Muhammad in the gold. And while Mwali has not fought in this country, he has fought some fine people. He beat Marvin Johnson in Nate round decision. And he knocked out Tony Simpson, the number one middleweight now, in one round back in 78. So Lottie's been in with some tough people. Right now, though, he is not getting off at all against uh, Muhammad. He just hasn't done anything offensively. He's standing right in front of him. A few moments ago, Al, uh, Eddie went to the body with a right hand, and Wally countered with a very nice left hook to the head. And that might, might be something we should look for as this fight develops. How did you rate the opening round? Well, you had to give it to uh, uh, Muhammad because he did virtually all the punching and landed a few pretty sharp punches in that round. Eddie Gregory, uh, I keep calling him Eddie Gregory because I know him for so long as that name, but uh, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad uh, had to lose a quarter pound at the weigh-in today to come in at an even 175. That's right. He said it didn't affect him at all, and a quarter of a pound losing that really shouldn't have any big impact on him, but it made him angry. And uh, so far, even though this is not a, a real torrid pace, this is as active as I've ever seen him in the first two or three rounds. At least he's punching. I've seen him in fights where, where Muhammad has waited three or four rounds to unload his first uh, legitimate punch. When uh, Muhammad was the WBA light heavyweight champion, his first defense was against Jerry Martin, and he really wore him down with a body attack. And here in the opening two rounds, he is working Mawali on the body. And, and Muhammad is one of the best body punchers in boxing. He's got a tremendous left hook to the body. Says he wants Michael Spinks again. So Mawali, uh, if he wins, is in line to uh, challenge Dwight Braxton. Less than a minute to go. Braxton, the WBC champion. Gregory tried to unload there with, with uh, the right hand, and uh, Mawali ducked underneath. And please pardon me again if I call him Gregory. Well, Mawali just has not done anything offensively, and I don't know, perhaps he's waiting, perhaps he wants to take a look at uh, Muhammad, or possibly wants uh, Muhammad to punch himself out. In any case, he's going to have to get off uh, pretty soon offensively, or this fight could become pretty one-sided. Less than 30 seconds to go in the quiet second round. We mentioned earlier about the humor of Muhammad. He once said to me, he said, you know before a fight when the referee gives the final instructions and says any questions, I've always been tempted to say to the referee, yeah, can you count to 10? <laughs> he said, but I've never used that because I, he says, my opponent would probably be so infuriated it would do me worse. Anyway, we'll be back with round three if you keep it where it is. It's a full day of classic boxing with Muhammad Ali. Every major bout, back to back to back. One Eastern Saturday on ESPN Classic. ESPN Classic presents The Warriors. The battlefield, the quest for national pride in a special world event. It's live USA Rugby as the Eagles take on Claremont. Saturday, August 9th at 7 Eastern, only on ESPN Classic. What does Pocono mean? It means the race to the chase has begun. It means love and hate and the infamous tunnel turn. It means watching out for Denny and never counting out Jimmy. It means the most important triangle in racing. 
It means the first green flag dropping in the race to the chase and making a statement that can't be ignored. The NASCAR Sprint Cup Series on ESPN. Coverage begins Sunday at 1 Eastern at Pocono. Presented by Cheez-It. What your engine feels, you feel. And when it's running clean, you feel it. Which is why Pennzoil Platinum has active cleansing agents to clean out up to 46% of sludge in the first oil change. That's three times better than the leading conventional oil. Pennzoil Platinum Motor Oil, our ultimate clean for your ultimate feeling. Not just oil, Pennzoil. Buy a Pennzoil Platinum oil change at participating locations and get a free Kevin Harvick diecast. Touchstone Pictures presents Swing Vote. Who are you going to vote for? Remind me again who's uh, running. <laughs> On August 1st, the fate of the election will come down to one swing vote. Holy crap! Swing Vote. Rated PG-13. Sunday on ESPN Classic. From different worlds, they came together to pursue a dream. Not everybody can play football. We're the lucky ones. And now follow a team of college football hopefuls as they fight the pressure. All right, everybody, now's the time. Face the pain and go for the glory. We're going to ring that championship bell. James Carr, Omar Epps, and Halle Berry star in a real classics movie premiere. The program, shown commercial free, 8 Eastern Sunday on ESPN Classic. Tomorrow on ESPN Classic. At 9, he's the good old boy of golfing. 60 Minutes on Classic, one-on-one -on -one with John Daly. And saddle up with Jerry Bailey, one of the world's greatest jockeys. Followed at 10 by the original American Gladiators. It's all tomorrow on ESPN Classic. They tried to take everything we had. They froze our accounts. They levied our accounts for over $17,000, threatening to imprison my husband. I'm not an actor, and none of the people appearing in this commercial are actors. Thousands of law-abiding Americans have turned to power tax relief. Honest people just like you, whose circumstances left them owing more taxes than they could pay. We ended up taking our $140,000 in tax debt and paid it off for $20,000. You can bet that the IRS will have lawyers working on your case. Don't take a chance without your own legal help. They took my $48,000 tax debt down to $400. This is a company that really does do what they say they're going to do. If you owe more than $10,000 in taxes, it's time to call Power Tax Relief, the most trusted name in tax relief, because the relief is real. Call 888-202-9317. Quiet rounds. We're into round three, scheduled for ten for light heavyweights. Lottie Mawali in the white, Eddie Mustafa Mohammed in the gold. Right hand by Mohammed, and that caught Mawali on the face. And Mawali countered with some jabs. First, first punches we see from him probably practically in the whole fight. Once again, Mohammed digging that right hand to the left side of Mawali, working the body. Another right hand to the body. That was more of a glancing shot, however. In the corner of Lottie Mawali, uh, his manager, Mickey Duff, told him you're simply not doing enough in this fight. You've got to be busier. And he's allowing uh, Eddie to get off first. Well, I certainly saw those first two rounds for uh, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. I can't imagine Mawali being given those two rounds. It wasn't dazzling for Eddie, but uh, he scored more effective punches. Mawali there with a good countering left hand. And in this round, Mawali at least has his jab on track a little bit. And you know, the theory, Sal, in fighting Muhammad is you have to hit him, but don't hit him too hard because you get him angry and he'll start punching. So the idea is to pepper him with shots and box him and confuse him. As a left-right combination on the head of uh, Muhammad by Mawali halfway through the round. And just before that occurred, Mohammed threw that right hand to the body. He was wide open again, and Mawali uh, whacked him with the left hook. That seems to be uh, an opening there, a, a weakness that Mohammed has. He's wide open when he throws the right to the body. Well, he's lunging with that right to the body, uh, and uh, so he is leaving himself wide open for either the left uh, hook or the straight right from Mawali. Right hand by uh, Lottie Mawali, and that was on the noggin of Mohammed uh, less than a minute to go on the round. So Lottie Mawali is starting to get untracked here in round three. Well, he's come to life and he's showing us some of the hand speed that uh, Mickey Duff assured us he had. 
Yes, Mickey Duff, his uh, manager, said that uh, a lot he cannot match the power of Muhammad, but he's more versatile. He's got quicker hand speed and more variety of punch. And uh, here in round three, that prophecy has come true so far. Less than 30 seconds to go. And of course, always lurking is the danger of that right hand from Eddie Muhammad. He, uh, he has a tremendous right, and we have to bear that in mind throughout this fight. Both of these light heavyweights just laying in wait. Coming up, round four. Feeling your bathroom can be a disaster. Your fingers were never meant to be used like this. Just look at the mess. You need ProSeal, the only tool that delivers a neat finish in just minutes, again and again. Apply silicone as usual. Select your sealing edge, then slide along for a perfect finish. Reuse the excess silicone like this and extend the seal without showing the joint. Look again, there's no wasted silicone. Amazing! Select a smaller edge for a thinner silicone finish. ProSeal is perfect for kitchen countertops to seal edges and eliminate those leaking corners. Sealing a corner neatly was impossible, but now with ProSeal, you can do it like a professional in seconds. Any edge, any corner, any joint, ProSeal gives you a perfect finish in minutes. Made from Duraflex, the ProSeal set is guaranteed to last year after year. Best of all, there's eight sealing edges for every application. You get a 16 millimeter corner to ensure a smooth finish, a curved edge to fill in the gaps between flat surfaces, and a grouting tip for between those tiles, and five more spectacular edges. The amazing Pro Seal Toolkit is just $19.95. We promise it will give you a clean, straight finish in just minutes, again and again, or your money back. But if you order now through this special TV offer, as a bonus, you'll get a third applicator for hard to reach places. You'll also get a silicone remover to remove and strip old grouting. Plus, you'll get this tube of silicone. Call now and receive the complete ProSeal kit. Three tools with 12 edges. Silicone remover tool, a tube of silicone for only $19.95, plus shipping and handling. Any edge, any corner, any joint, your solution is ProSeal. Call now. To order your ProSeal, call 1-800-913-4313. Or send check or money order for $19.95 plus shipping and handling to ProSeal, 2 Morgan Avenue, Norwalk, Connecticut, 06851. Call 1-800-913-4313. That's 1-800-913-4313. Call now. Nice weeping. That's a good jab for the body. You Let's go to the corner. Lottie Mawali, George Francis is there. Now come on, man. Step the pace up. the way he wants to rest. Okay. I want you to let him rest. Okay. When he stops, feel a little faint and get the jab up first. Okay. The jab is your main one. Your hand is twice as fast as me. Mawali's corner, very much uh, happy about what his action in round three as we take a look at some of that uh, action against Eddie Mustafa Mohammed as Lati Mawali seemed to shake his nerves in the first two rounds and he seemed to settle down there in round three. Round four scheduled for ten. Al, how did you uh, rate the third round? Well, I gave the third round to uh, Lati Mawali by the narrowest of margins. So uh, Muhammad did come back a little bit. I thought Mawali landed the sharper punches. Uh, certainly it's debatable. It was a close round, but I'd give it to him. And a very important thing I think that Francis told him in the corner, the jab is your main weapon. You've got to keep it working. And I would agree with that statement 100%. That's got to be a suicide to allow Muhammad to get off first. He simply can't afford that, Moali. He's got to keep Eddie uh, back on his heels and a little bit confused and thinking defense. So far, I'm astounded that Moali has shown us absolutely no foot movement. I was sure he would use some lateral movement to try and give uh, Muhammad some problems, but so far he's stood toe to toe with him. You would think that he would try to make this a track meet and test Muhammad's uh, uh, training. I certainly would if I was in Moali's uh, shoes. Good right to the body there by Muhammad. Right hand by Mowali at the end of that exchange, a left hook by uh, Muhammad. <laughs> Mowali takes a right hand, the mouthpiece drops out of his jaw, and the left hook sends him to the canvas. 
And Richard Green is over Lottie Mawali, whose left leg is quivering. He's counting him out. Nine, ten, good night, Street Prince. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad is knocked out. Lottie Mawali in the fourth round. Well, an incredible right hand by Muhammad. We said they had to watch out for that punch. The concern now, of course, is about Lottie Mawali, who is in his corner. They're getting him up. He's, he's just sitting up there, as we can see beyond the security guard. He appears to be doing a little bit better. After the right hand, he turned away from Muhammad. The referee simply couldn't get in there quick enough, and a final left hook was what sent him down. The force of the right hand by Muhammad knocked the mouthpiece out of Lolly's jaw, and I guess in his stupor, he was he put his hand up to grab the mouthpiece that wasn't there. Now watch, see? Now he puts his, where's the mouthpiece? And he takes another big shot, bang! And remember the, the referee always says in the pre-fight instructions, protect yourself at all times. Here's another view. The right hand did the original damage. Tremendous. Bang, right there. The mouthpiece flies out into the crowd. Mawali's looking for the mouthpiece, doesn't see the left hook coming. Bang again. And uh, Richard Green counted him out. Let's get the official time from Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, 1 minute 47 seconds of the fourth round. The winner by a knockout. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. Muhammad continues his comeback. The number one contender in the WBA division knocks out the number one contender in the WBC division at 147 of the fourth round. And you saw it on Saturday night at the fight. Back at the ring here in Las Vegas, we have Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, who I call the Minister of Shock. The Minister of Shock has returned! He just took out Lottie Mawali in the fourth round. And who's the lady to your right? This is my mother, the inspiration to why I'm fighting. If it wasn't for her, I'd probably retire, but she gave me an incentive to go back and get my title back, and that's what I'm going to do. No problem. We're going to get it! Get it. <laughs> All right, let's get to the fight. Uh, it was very quiet over the first couple of rounds. The big shot you delivered was the right that knocked his mouthpiece out. Then he didn't protect himself. You hit him with the left. Did you see an opening for that right earlier? Yes, I saw it open for the right side. What I wanted to do was just to, like, spare him a little bit. And I wanted to really work the body because, you know, the, the art of body punching is like a lost thing. And uh, I think I brought it back somewhat in the Marvin Johnson fight. And, like, during this fight, I wanted to bring it out even more. But the, the opening was there, and I took the opening. And, you know, and uh, the minister of, the minister shock, of shock, the minister of shock landed the shocker. Well, let's give you a look at it right now in living color here on Saturday night at the fights. Watch for the right hand. That does the damage. It comes like a locomotive. Bang, right there. Yes, that's the, the shock punch. And that's why Michael Spinks is running. He wants to fight chumps. He don't want to fight the champ. I'm the real champ. And I'm going to Puerto Rico to the WBA convention and to a state of protest. I've been number one for a year. For one year, I've been number one contender for the uh, title. And Michael Smith, all he wants to do is fight lemons. And I like to give all praise due to Allah, almighty God. And I, I'm dedicating this fight. Listen, I'm dedicating this fight to a very good friend of mine. He's deceased, Benny Ashburn. Benny Ashburn, a great individual, the manager of the Commodores. And this fight is dedicated to Benny Ashburn and all the Commodores and his family also. Eddie, I wonder if you say you want Michael Spinks and you want him now. My question is, do you want another tune-up beforehand or do you just want that fight? No, we want to go right to Michael Spinks. I've had three tune-ups. I've been tuned up in the gym. I can't wait. Michael Spinks wouldn't be able to stand up to the shocker, to the shock punch, as Sal named it. That's the shock punch. Michael Spinks will never be able to stand up to that. I'm feeling strong. And Michael Spinks, let me tell you something. I made 175 pounds with ease. No steam room. Dwight Braxton, I'm just letting you sit by. Let you Enjoy your championship, but when I come, you got to give it up, like Marvin Gaye said. <laughs> All, right. All right. Eddie Mustafa Mohammed wins on a fourth round the knockout here at the Showboat in Las Vegas. There you see a, a picture of uh, Eddie Mustafa Mohammed, his hand held up in victory, and that's the trophy uh, given to him by Murad Mohammed, the promoter.